Flint's new music leader. We are at Club 93781 show featuring local artists in Flint and the surrounding areas. Got Tio to Don and what's going on, man? What's poppin'? Man, just, uh, you know, it's been a busy summer so far. Summer hasn't even begun, but uh, with all these artists coming through, we like to put the spotlight on local artists here in Flint. Listen, if you're an artist and you want to be featured on the 81 show, uh, all you got to do is hit me up via Twitter, Art on the Radio. Tio, let's get uh, started right from the beginning, man. When did you start your rap career? Uh, when did it When did it all start, you know, uh, blooming? It, well, it started blooming, i say about the end of last year. End of last year? End of last year, like, when like when I was working and stuff, like, I ain't getting no, like, no type of support, like, but now, like, end of last year, I dropped this song, my intro, and I got, like, 16,000 views, and ever since then, it popped. Okay, and that was just an intro? Yeah. Damn, yeah. just like yeah. that. So, uh, how would you compare your music to, uh, if you could compare your music to any artist that's out now? And obviously, you know, a lot of people don't like to compare themselves to others, but if someone was to be like, man, what's this man's music like? Who would you compare it to? Like, who were your influences? Gotti, Kevin Gates, Black Youngster, and Boosie, because okay. they're all down south artists, and I'm from down south. Yeah, that's real street music then. Yeah. What side of Flint you grew up on? North side. North side. There's a lot of artists on the north side, man. All right, I don't have a new B. Yeah, see, new and B. and that's the thing, man. How do you compete with 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 all the other artists come out? Because it seems like, to be honest, it seems the majority of artists that come out of Flint come from the north side of Flint. Yeah, but I don't. To me, I don't put myself in no composite uh, competition. No. Like I just stay in my own lane and do my own thing. It was meant for me. Meant for me. It was meant for others. Not meant for you. Feel me? Yeah. Now, how old are you? 19. 19. So you're starting fresh. You started a year ago. Yeah. Okay. And you dropped that intro. No, no. I, I ain't started a year ago. Like, I've been started, but my, like, it just started to take off about a year ago. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah. so when did you officially, like, start getting into rapping and writing, you know, material? Two years ago. Two years ago. Two okay. Years so ago. 17 years old. You started it. You put that intro out. 16,000 views right off the, and was that off of Facebook? Yeah. Okay. And then and now you got a you got a new tape coming out, correct? Yeah, losses make bosses. Okay, losses make bosses, and that's coming out when? Jan June twenty eighth. June twenty eighth. So yeah. right around the corner. How many tracks on it? Twelve. Twelve. Like it like uh, with with this one though, like it it was supposed to be coming out February. It was supposed to be coming out February, but I had got into it with a label, and they just took all my music and didn't want to release it. So I had to just had to re make my whole mixtape. So there was a label that approached you, yeah. wanted to do business with you, and then took all your music? Yeah. Okay. And that's what happened to my whole mixtape. That's why I didn't drop shit. Okay. So how did you deal with that? Because that seems to me like, like it seems like a lot of artists just want to get on a label, get on a label. So did they contact you? Yeah. Okay. So they hit you up via what? Social media? Yeah. And then it was like, it was like I, don't, I don't want to say no names, but yeah. you feel me? They might do business with other people, but it was like they hit me up at the end. We had met up. Well, first they met up with my manager, then first, and then I had came to the booth, and then like it was talking good. Then we got to work, and then working, and okay. stuff just started going sideways. So I just started falling back. Right. And then, like, then like the CEO of the thing, like he was just acting like a girl to me. So I just had to just fall back, and like he dropped me for the label, but he wouldn't release my music. Oh, okay. So he has a cap on that then. Like he's got a cap on all your. Well, no, not really. He no, ain't got, he ain't got my music copyright. No. So no. you could still re-release that then. Yeah. Okay. And that's what you're planning to do with yeah, the mixtape then. Yeah, remade it. Who produced it? K Murder. Okay. And he's straight out of Flint then too. Then. Yeah. That's okay. the only dude I have mix my stuff. And he's from Northside too as well, right? Yeah. Well, he 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 be in Beecher. Okay. But he from the Northside too. He be on the Northside. What's what do you think is the hardest part with being an artist in Flint? Support. Support? Support. Yeah, I get that from a lot of people that come through. It seems like that's the main cause of concern is that everybody wants to pump their own music, but nobody wants to support each other. Is that is that what you deal with a lot? Uh, like, yeah, like that, but I, I support whoever support me. Right. And me, like, with me, like, I don't get the support from no nobody really in Flint. Like, it's hard for me. Right. Feel me? Because I ain't from here, you feel me? And I don't think people too much like me for no reason, you feel me? Right. I don't need nothing. Right. So, so obviously your influence is Yo Gotti, Black Youngster, you know, Kevin Gates and everything like that. With this new tape here, what can we expect? Man, I'm giving, I'm giving them, it's like, a, it's a storyline. Okay. What, that's what it, basically it is, story, like I'm just telling my story. Okay. And, and, and I mean, let's, let's get a little in depth with your story. I mean, you're, are you originally from Flint? 
Uh, like, yeah, I'm I'm from Flint, but I grew up in Memphis. Okay. Like, when I was born, I moved to, like, moved to Memphis. I stayed in Memphis for, like, nine years. Then I moved back here. I've been up here ever since. Okay. And then, like, I've just been problems, just been running in, like, with the music and stuff. Yeah. And, and do, you, I do you think that it's easier to associate yourself just with a couple people as opposed to people who have, you know, teams and groups of people and everything? It seems like you work sort of independently then, correct? Yeah, like I was, no, I, I was in a group. I was in a group, but people change over time and I, everybody went their own way. Right. So, but as far as working with groups, I work with um, Wild Randy twice, them. Right. And my cousins. Okay, okay. So... It, so you got this project that's coming out uh, end of June, right? Yeah. Okay. And then after that, what are your plans? You plan on doing a couple of shows? I mean, what, what's the plans for the summer? I was like, like, I got a whole bunch of shows booked up for the summer, but they all in Arizona because my brother do it, and he be having, like, famous people come up there and open it. So okay. that's basically where I'm going to be at during the summer in Arizona. Okay. Now, do you think that it's important? I mean, I see... And I'm, and I'm not by any means talking down about artists, but you see a common a common thread to where it's like a lot of artists just stick around here and get almost Flint famous, and that's it. So do you think branching out into Arizona helps build your fan base? Yeah. Yeah. It's always like every, like everywhere is good because you need more fans. Cause right. Not, never enough fans. You feel me? Like then once I be up there and I like they love my music up there too. Yeah. That's that's, that's a uh, they love music up there. That's just one of their cultures. Right. You feel me? They love music. Okay, so that that uh, now the mixtape against title what? Bosses make bosses. Okay, and that's coming out June twenty eighth. You can find it on social media, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you could you could really find it on basically Reverb Nation. I just made one of them, and I just dropped I dropped a song on on there like I say two days ago. Okay, okay, so you could check out actually a single from the mixtape then right now. Yeah, on your I got Nation. I got three uh singles out from the mixtape. Oh. One is We On. Uh, Oh, the other on my grind and did is my intro okay okay so look for that on reverb nation and of course you're gonna be doing tours and in, 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 uh, tour in arizona uh, a couple places there and then any plans to come to flint and do a couple tours there as well yeah, like it's, it's hard like I, i've been performing in flint but like i know mostly all the club promoters but they don't show no love no is that no is that a problem because I, I feel like it's a reoccurring problem where a lot of a lot of club promoters either say they're gonna book you and they don't book you yeah. or is it a payment thing? Yeah, it, it's basically that too. They don't want to pay nobody, but they really pay people from out of town. Like, okay. I don't see it. Like, uh, you, what about in the city? Right. That's why I said no support. Right. Okay. So if people want to find you on social media, how do they search you? Calvin Robertson. Calvin Robertson. C A L V I N R O B I N S O N. Okay. You got a Twitter? No. No. Just I Facebook? A, I got an Instagram. You can follow me at T O the Don. T dot O underscore D A dot D no wait hold on that's my, <laughs> that's my Snapchat that's my Snapchat my uh Instagram is T dot O underscore D A underscore D O N N and my Snapchat is T dot D A D O N N awesome eight one show with Tio to Don thank you so much for coming through man appreciate it.